Nemo, il est où Tout le monde est là ouais. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the press conference following the fifth EU Republic of Korea summit. As you know, earlier this morning we signed a free trade agreement which marks the beginning of a new period characterized by an increasingly stronger political and economic cooperation. We have roughly half an hour at your disposal, so with, without further delay, I shall give the floor to the President of the European Council, Herman Barrope. Ladies and gentlemen, we have just had an excellent discussion with President Lee and his team, and I'm glad to say that this will be a summit to remember for the following reasons. First and foremost, the European Union and Korea just signed a landmark free trade agreement. This is an agreement which is not only beneficial for the EU and Korea, the world's la 20th largest economy, but sends a strong signal that trade liberalization is a key element for recovery of the world economy. And second, main point, we also have today successfully upgraded our relations to a strategic partnership. It reflects the fact that Korea is a dynamic emerging economy. Korea consistently have had the fastest annual GDP growth in the OECD. It also reflects the fact that Korea shares many of our values. It is a stable, pluralist Asian democracy committed to human rights. In this regard, I would like to commend you personally, Mr. President, to Korea's de facto moratorium on death penalty. We now look forward to working with Korea and President Lee on a range of global issues, not least through the upcoming G20 summit in November and at the second nuclear security summit in 2012. The EU also looks forward to Korea's constructive cooperation on issues such as climate change and development. Third, we have had an extensive discussion on the upcoming G20 summit. To say the obvious, the European Union is committed to making the G20 summit in Seoul a success. Last June in Toronto, the European Union was in the spotlight. There was anxiety on growth rates, more precisely, on the stability of the euro area. We, the European Union, have shown our political resolve to restore stability and confidence internally. Economic growth will be at 1.8% due to more domestic demand and more balanced growth than previously anticipated. Now we are committed more than ever to provide our contribution to global recovery and the development of an international rule-based financial regime that is rule-based. Fourth and lastly, on the Korean Peninsula, I would first like to repeat our condolences for the tragic loss of life following the sinking of the Sheonan. The EU is, has condemned the attack and stands firmly behind the presidential statement of the UN Security Council. The European Union is a steadfast supporter of six-party talks and support yours and your particip participants' efforts to create conditions for resumption of six-party talks. We, as you know, also support the inter-Korean dialogue crucial for lasting peace on the peninsula. Again, Mr. President, it was an honor to have you and your ministers here in Brussels, first for the ASEM yesterday, the day before yesterday, and then for today's summit. I look forward to seeing you in five weeks and this time around in Seoul. Thank you.